Hi folks, welcome to another episode of NYC CNC. Today, let's talk about stepper motors. Stepper motors are one of my favorite types of motors. They're awesome, they're inexpensive, they're powerful, and they're actually pretty easy to work with. They come in a range of sizes, from this little guy on the left, all the way to this fist sized guy on the right. To work with a stepper motor, you need to have a controller, and we've got a range of these in the back, starting with the Adafruit motor controller, a few from SparkFun, and a more industrial version on the right. Today I'm going to show you how to use a stepper motor with an Arduino. We'll go through some different examples of code, and then we'll use a stepper to build a simple, single axis CNC system. If you'd like to follow along, I would suggest you buy this exact stepper motor, which is available from Adafruit. You can see the information right here. It's probably a $15 part. And I'm going to use the SparkFun Big Easy Driver, which you can see right here. and is available here from SparkFun for $23. There are many other ways you can work with steppers. There are many other types of steppers. Um, but folks tend to get confused. I want to keep this simple. Uh, one of the reasons I'm recommending you buy this stepper from Adafruit is the color code of the wires when we go to hook it up. Okay, we've got our big easy driver. Let's take a look at the pin layout. The stepper motor is connected red, yellow, green, gray, and then these two wires are the power source for the motor. Steppers need higher voltage than we traditionally use with Arduinos. I've got these connected directly to my benchtop power supply which I'm running at 24 volts. You can also purchase power supplies off places like eBay that run 24 volts or even higher. Not expensive at all, $15, $20. And the last three connections, pin on the left is a black cable connecting to ground on the Arduino. The middle pin, this orange pin, connects to digital pin nine. That is the step pin, we'll talk about that in a minute. And the last pin is the green one, digital pin eight on the Arduino, and that is the direction pin. We're all hooked up. Let's take a look at a simple piece of code. What we're gonna do is rotate the stepper a certain number of steps in one direction and then rotate it back the other. Let's quickly walk through the code. We have an int distance equals zero. We're setting the digital pins eight and nine as outputs and starting them off as low. And then what we're doing is a loop. Remember pin nine is the pulse pin or the step pin. So we set it high and then we pause for 300 microseconds and then we set it low. This pulsing of high and low is what moves the stepper. And every time we do that, we do distance equals distance plus one. So it does that until distance equals 3200. And you saw that happens quite quickly. And you can go back and calculate the math based on the number of steps per rotation of your stepper to figure out what that means for a sort of RPM. And once we've done that, we switch and we set pin eight, which is the direction to the other direction and we loop through we pause and then we loop through this code again so again it's going in, in forward and backward loops of 3200 clicks or steps by changing the delay between the pulse signals we can to some extent control the speed of the motor so we'll make it go quicker by having a slower delay I'm holding it down just so it doesn't vibrate too much but you can see much faster So let's use our stepper motor to build a single axis CNC system. What I've got here are some components from Adafruit's new CNC category, which I'm really excited about. Some eight millimeter rails and some eight millimeter linear bearing platforms. Now you can't see it here because I've got a threaded rod assembled in it, but there is no very little to no play in these, yet I can freely turn my lead screw and rotate this along the axis. So what we'll do is we'll use a coupler like this, also from Adafruit, and hook it onto the shaft of our stepper motor and then onto my threaded rod. And you can see my system right here. I just machined a little block with a threaded component in here that slides the rails back and forth. And my friend Matt is gonna help show us how this works. So this is SpongeBob SquarePants. This is Patrick over here. And this is Luke Skywalker, disguised as a stormtrooper. Um, here's the A button. It makes him go that way, back to SpongeBob. If you hit the B button, it goes to Luke Skywalker. Uh. 
that's it for today, folks. There is a ton more out there on stepper motors, different ways to control them in the code, micro-stepping, uh, etc. This really only scratches the surface. If there's other specific topics you'd like to see, please uh, post in the comments below. If you've liked this video, do me a favor and give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, that's all for now, folks. Thanks.